Hi everybody, this is Jana from the blog Lucy and Matilda. And today I'm going to show you the new um, hobby that I've discovered and it is called punch needle. So I'll show you what the end result is on this side. And this is the back. Now I'll take you step by step through how I punch needle. Okay, to punch needle, which is actually almost like um, building a carpet or a rug, it's almost a, it is a form of rug hooking. So when you're punch needling or punching, people call it punching, you are going to need um, a few things. You're going to need this cloth, which is called monk's cloth. It's a loose weave cotton. And because it's a loose weave, it will unravel very quickly around the edges. So what you need to do, and what I did was just zigzag with my sewing machine all the way around. And you're going to need a piece that is bigger than your frame. And I just bought this frame from Michael's. It's a quilter's lap frame. It's square, obviously, and it's got these little plastic uh, tightening um, mechanisms or whatever, like pieces of half, half pipe so that it fits over top of the monk's cloth and onto the frame and you can keep your monk's cloth tight. Now, you also need a Sharpie marker which is what you're going to draw your um, design with. And well, you use a Sharpie marker because it doesn't bleed because you're gonna be handling the cloth quite a bit. And you need these punch needles. This is a number 10 Oxford Fine, which is good for worsted weight yarn. This is a number 10 Regular which is good for a, a more bulky or chunky yarn. This is, I think this is a chunky yarn. Bulky is heavier than chunky, I believe. And this is my worsted weight. And it would even work for like a DK, I believe, a double knit. Now, I thought that I liked this green here which I still do, but I prefer the pink as like to add contour to the petals. So I'll show you how easy it is to um, fix your mistakes. So basically, all you do is pull. Now don't worry about the stitches coming undone. Oops, that one was stuck. I'm gonna have to fix that now too. Don't worry about the stitches coming undone once it's all finished because they, they are squashed in there very tightly. And I might fix that and I might not, it's okay. And then you just run your finger over it, like kind of scratch it and the weave goes back to normal. So I think I'm going to take these two out and replace them with pink. But first I'm going to show you how to actually uh, punch needle. So I'm going to use my number 10 regular with this yellow uh, chunky yarn or bulky yarn. What you do is you place the tip of the yarn into, into the hole or the eye of the needle and pull it till it has, till you have about three inches or so. And then there's this channel here, which you, you lay it into the channel. Now, this is what you're going to do. You lay it into the bottom of the needle and you pull gently and see how it, it loads itself. So now it's fully loaded, but you see this extra yarn here. You're gonna pull it from the other end so that you only waste 
about an inch to an inch and a half of yarn. And now this is what you do. You find a hole and I'm gonna have to tilt this up a little bit. Two things you need to remember that you always keep your yarn slack. Otherwise the stitches will pull out. They won't stay into, they won't stay in the monk's cloth. And another thing you need to remember, I'll put this over here, is that you, you put the tip of the needle all the way into the base of the wood. So I'll show you. You find a hole, punch it through, all the way through, if you can see that, and then drag the tip of the needle across for about two or so holes. Bring it up, drag it, find another hole, and you just, you just trace the outline that you've drawn. Another thing you need to remember is that the direction that you're going is going to be where the front and the channel, so the front of your needle faces. You are always facing the direction that you're going. And you can turn your work. I'll just snip that off so you can see better. So as I turn my work and as I punch, I am changing the direction of the needle, the front of the needle. So I've done two rounds and that's what it's gonna look like. But pretend I wanna change my yarn color. All you do is very gently, so I'm gonna clip this waist off so you can see, very gently lift your needle, press on the yarn that is your last stitch and snip it off and pull this out just a little bit for your next project or round. Oops. See how, how cool that looks. Now, I know there's a little bit of space between some of them, but as you go around and do uh, round by round all the way in, almost like a spiral, they will get tighter and tighter. Anyway, so that's how you punch needle. And there are no, there's no limit to the ideas that you can, you can do this for. I've drawn like geometric styles or whatever, and I drew some flowers. Anyway, there is really no limit to what you can do with punch needling. And basically, uh, what you can, what you can turn your project into is the, say the, like this one, I'll show you. See how I've drawn a square? I'm not sure how many inches it is, but I do know it's approximately would fit like a 10 inch pillow form. So you can just uh, iron on stabilizer on the back of your project, like on this part of your project, just to keep everything stable while it's being used for a pillow. And you can do like an envelope style, like in my other envelope pillow video, and put it on your couch and it'd be really, really nice. Or you can, you know, I've used like a, um, a dinner plate, traced a round dinner plate, and then filled it in with whatever you wanna draw or whatever you wanna do. And you can put it in like a, an embroidery hoop and glue it down in the back and hang it on your wall. There's all kinds of things you can do with this. It's very, 
like therapeutic and very fun to do because it's it's just like coloring with yarn. Anyway, uh, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and hit the like button if you liked it. And we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.